My name is Caroline Labouchere. I'm at King's College Hospital today with Dr. Imran Khan. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you again. It's good to see you, Thank and you. I love your socks. That you can't do this kind to lift your foot up so everybody can oh, well, see you. you see you look <laughs> always wearing fabulous socks. Thank you. Last time I met you, you were telling me about diabetes. Yes, indeed. I have to say my knowledge has not improved greatly since I last saw you, but things have moved on. Yes, they have. Tell yes, me, have. tell me. So, tell, first of all, your new title. Right, well, I'm the director and the head of the department of diabetes uh, at King's Institute of uh, Diabetes, Endocrine and Obesity. So we've got a full team now uh, looking after these three conditions. So basically we're looking after diabetes, hormone problems, that's endocrine, which includes blood pressure, cholesterol, thyroid, and uh, uh, the rest of hormonal issues. And then obesity as such is a big issue, as you know, for most people. Well, not most people, but many people. And uh, that's what we're catering for and uh, helping people with that. Right. So you have this team. Yes. And they are all, if I came to you as a customer, uh, would I see all of them? Depends on, uh, it's very indi individualized, so it depends on the patient, uh, whoever needs what, and we have what we call an MDT, so we can discuss cases which are complex, which need uh, attention or uh, investigation. Otherwise, if it's uh, uh, something which we are familiar to, then it may not require that uh, team approach. Uh, generally, if, if you decide the team is, is what is needed, do you sit together and discuss? Yes, um, recently we've, uh, we've now moved to team on uh, Microsoft team rather than sit together. Those right. days have gone nowadays. Right. I and hope they come back. Yes, yes, but hopefully in the near future we can sit together. Because I, I think it is so important for doctors yes. when you know that your doctor is speaking to another doctor yeah. about you and they're working together, two heads are going to be better than one. Indeed, indeed. We have, uh, for obesity, we have a team uh, which comprises a surgeon, um, bariatric surgeon, hepatologist, uh, endoscopic bariatric uh, surgeries. Now it is a, a feature which we provide and uh, then the medical management which uh, uh, or the investigations of obesity which the endocrinologist or somebody like myself or my colleagues can uh, help with. It's a very interesting uh, new development. Uh, we have developments in diabetes and obesity but this is certainly in my opinion and my colleagues opinions also it's a break, you know, groundbreaking news and uh, it's, it's a game changer. Uh, we now have this drug uh, uh, called Monjaro as the commercial name, Terzepatite it's called uh, the, the technical name. And um, it's moved, um, uh, uh, it's, it's a great tool in us helping for patients with uh, diabetes and in particular with obesity. And they tend to come together, diabetes and obesity comes together. So it's helping us in both uh, situations. Not for everyone, but in a majority of people, a significant amount of weight loss, uh, you're talking of 10 or 15 percent weight loss, uh, is, uh, makes huge difference. And I'm talking of getting off medication and people reversing diabetes and what we call diabetes remission. So they don't need any medication. So weight is certainly a confounding factor. And um, that's why the approach towards weight management in diabetes and diet is an essential part, apart from some people would need actually some medication to help them. Right, and it's an injectable? So this is an injectable. It's not an injection like people think. It's got a needle and a syringe. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, pen, which uh, uh, you don't even see the needle. It's all hidden and you just have to press a button. So if you scan needles, yes. this you, is... You, you just, I wish I brought a sample, but uh, you just press the button, put it on your tummy or your thigh, and uh, you feel a little bit like a small uh, discomfort, but it's not painful, and you do that once a week. This um, works immediately. Uh, we have to increase the dose incrementally. Uh, the main reason to increase it slowly is because of the side effects which are in particular to name is nausea uh, and the initial first two weeks people sometimes feel nauseated 
I do tell my patients, but many of them come back saying, well, I never got the nausea. Uh, but uh, it's uh, one of uh, common features. It's about 20% people will get uh, nausea. And then lower number of people will get some bowel disturbance, uh, either diarrhea or constipation, but that's less in numbers. And is that a short term? Yes, usually it's the first two weeks, and then after that they settle down and the body gets used to it. Is this like Ozempic? Indeed. So uh, you could say it's the same family uh, in many ways, but this is a new molecule. So the, 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 the drug basically was first discovered from a, a lizard called Gila monster in, in South called America. Called a Gila monster? Gila monster. Gila with the, starting with a G. The G is silent. Right. And it's a very, uh, well, ugly looking okay, yeah, I was uh, say uh, the name uh, like that lizard, week. which is orange and black spots. But uh, they discovered it in those days it was called exenatide. Um, this is a hormone produced by intestines, we all produce it. But it was found that it's not enough in type 2 diabetics. And uh, once they started using this and we started with a drug called Victoza, uh, which was uh, earlier on, then we had Trulicity, and then we had um, Ozumpic as you mentioned, uh, uh, and they all worked in a similar way as reducing the weight and reducing the blood sugars and improving it. This drug has, and uh, that worked on something, a hormone called glucagon-like peptide. In short, we call it GLP-1. But this drug, we discovered that the GIP, which is another hormone in the intestines, uh, which is uh, uh, working uh, simultaneously with the GLP, but it's got about two, you know, seventy-five percent more efficacy. So when they combine together, and that's what this new discovery was, that this becomes very effective, and hence the blood sugar improvement is significant compared to the others, and also the weight reduction is uh, the, the the I would say one of the biggest um, advantages that you get a significant weight reduction with it, uh, and and. And how, how are people knowing, how are you getting the word out there about this? Well, it's uh, thanks to uh, people like yourself who's uh, interested in spreading the word around. Uh, it's been in the newspaper. People are now well read. Uh, they talk to each other, they Google, uh, and I think... We uh, love Google. Uh, yes, yes, so people are understanding it. And those people who come for, you know, they come into our center for obesity or diabetes or our colleagues, so they would do cross referrals. Um, I'm proud to say that uh, King's was the first institution to have this drug available and I was uh, first in UAE to prescribe it and um, it's the first country to have it after USA. So the USA licensed it in, by the FDA and UAE was very quick to, to have it available and we're very lucky to be one of the first uh, um, you know, countries to have it. And uh, we've been using it for a couple of months with uh, wonderful results, with good feedback. Uh, compared to other drugs, um, if I may go on to say, you expect about a 6% or a 10 to 15% body weight loss. Here we can go up to 22%, even 25% body weight loss for a patient. So if somebody is 100 kilo, you can expect up to 25 kilos wow. weight loss. So it's. Uh, now, in, uh, I wouldn't say every patient has their own needs, but it's coming to the area what we were getting results from bariatric surgery, which would be, you know, stomach stapling or anything. So it's now medical, uh, it's coming to that sort of league now. Uh, there are some new other drugs which may come, you know, now that this one's out uh, that we will develop, but uh, uh, it, it's provide, providing excellent results. As you know, in medicine, one size doesn't fit all. You have to work with the patient. You have to uh, assess them, understand them. They understand what they're doing. It's nothing's a magic bullet, but this is not too far from being <laughs> a magic injection. It, it does work for everyone, but you have to work for it. We have to go through their uh, training, counseling, getting them to understand about their calories, the amount of intake. Um, so if you put all things together, that's when you get good results. If you only rely on the medication, it will still work, but you won't get your, uh, shall we say, money's worth or you won't get the full efficacy of it. 
So that's why you need a specialist who has the feeling and understanding of it so you can take your patient to where they get the best advantage with the least possible dose, shall we say, and the best possible outcomes. For type 2 diabetics, uh, many of the uh, insurances will pay for it. Uh, some of them don't, it depends on different insurances, but if you were a cash pair, uh, which many of our patients are and they, they, it's their choice, it costs about 1700 dirhams a month. So each, uh, because it's a weekly injection, so you get a pack of four for a month and each in injection, if we call it, or pen, is uh, costing about 420 odd uh, uh, dirhams. So oh, we're talking about your life here. Uh, it's it's um, four hundred and twenty. Well, many people would spend uh, that money in the restaurant on a exactly. on a good meal. Exactly. And this is going to hopefully save your life. Yes, so, indeed. Uh, now that's um, how long is a piece of string. Uh, <laughs> Do you stop as soon as you reach your your weight? You certainly can. In the same time, you know, you're getting the health benefits apart. You know, obviously with the obesity management. Uh, the blood sugars, everything improves, the cholesterol improves, you know, there's a lot of uh, benefits for, for this drug, not just the obesity and not just the diabetes. Uh, once you've reached the goal, you would have expected and we hope and we've seen that patients' lifestyle changes. So because it works by, in different mechanisms uh, in, in the body, but the main, to make it simple, uh, simplistic and not go into the technical bits and how it affects yeah, the insulin and <laughs> how it affects the glucagon. The main uh, uh, place where it works is it suppresses your appetite. Right. And how it suppresses it is because it slows the stomach to empty. So when you eat something, the food stays in your stomach for longer. So the signal to the brain to saying, I'm hungry, I'm empty, so you want your next meal because your because the stomach will digest and put the food forward to the intestines and the signal goes like, okay, you're hungry because your meal's digested, you need the next meal. This keeps the food longer in the stomach and the signal goes, I'm full. So when you're full, you eat less and when you eat less, <laughs> you lose weight. So in, in some ways it's not rocket science. Everyone knows if you eat less you're going to lose weight. Uh, and all the bariatric procedures, everything, makes your stomach smaller yes. so that you eat less and you lose weight. So this does it in a, in a medical form and you eat less and, and hence you lose weight. So, and that's why the side effects which I mentioned nausea because the food's sticking in your stomach so yes. you feel full. Um, you don't actually vomit, it's uh, just a feeling. There may be a few, you know, odd cases you may, may vomit, but, but, generally but, but no, I, I, I've not had patients coming back to me saying, you know, oh my God, you know, what yeah. did you give me? <laughs> yeah, um, and, and, and then their cravings go. So when, when you passing by a, 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 a restaurant or, a, or, a, or a, you know, any food at home, you don't want to say, oh, let me do, pick something up or in the evening when you're watching television, you know, watching something on Netflix, you want to eat something. So that could, so it's not like, you just don't feel hungry. And when the food is presented to you, you have your taste and you eat it and then you just say, mm, I'm full, I don't want to finish this. So gradually, and the cravings some people have, let's say for crisps or for chocolate or different people have their own sort of uh, naughty rituals things. and naughty yeah. things you just don't feel like having them but if you want to it's not like something that you can't have uh, where sometimes with surgery you just can't have something because it, it causes so you can have it but your portion sizes automatically become small and hence the, the benefit of weight loss the effectiveness of the drug remains as long as you're taking it how long you're coming to your first question you know when you stop it what happens well you are what you eat in many ways. So once you've been on it for uh, X number of months, your routine changes. So you don't have that every evening while watching Netflix, I'm going to have a scoop of ice cream or I'm going to have nuts or I'm going to have a glass of wine with cheese. So those rituals and those practices you have disappear. Right. Or I always have a cup of tea with a you know, you a biscuit. A packet yes, a packet of biscuits in many cases. So that goes, and then because you've gone through and you've achieved so much, 
uh, people tend to say, okay, I've, I've got uh, what I did and I'm not going to do that. So they continue to be motivated and hence they keep their weight down without being on the medication. Yes, uh, it's a big uh, group there, but I think you're talking of 25,000 dirhams to 45,000 dirhams. Uh, so I might be wrong there, but that's If this okay. is going to work and you're thinking, oh, that's too expensive, that is... I'm not paying that, yes. then start thinking about the options. And so many people have done that and then put on weight again afterwards. Indeed. Uh, um, the thing is that the company has uh, made one good decision that the dose, the price is the same for each dose. So you increase the dose, but the price doesn't go up. Right. So whether you're on 2.5 milligrams or 15 milligrams, it's the same cost per month. Uh, so it, it, I think that um, helps patients you know, know what they're going for and how much it's going to cost. Um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, this symptom may not suit everyone. Uh, especially if somebody's had chronic pancreatitis or something, so it's not um, appropriate for such people. Uh, whereas bariatric uh, gives excellent results, but obviously it's 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 um, it's got its own complications issues. Uh, it's a very effective, so I don't want to sound like I'm not yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in favor of bariatric surgery, but it's another choice and another tool for for the doctors and for the patients to to benefit from. Yes, it would be somebody who um, ha is an endocrinologist, I would say. Uh, that's the best person to uh, see it. They assess you, they optimize your diabetes control, and it may be that you have to stop a lot of your diabetic medications because as your diabetes gets better, you don't want to get too low. So it's managing that, con managing the medications, and um, taking them, helping them, guiding them, and helping them through the journey. So it would be an endocrinologist, somebody like myself, or somebody who has experience with these uh, medications because it's not just a prescription I think obesity management uh, and, and diabetes management I feel is uh, over the years it's more of an art rather than just write a prescription and say here you go these are your tablets off you go I'll see you in three months and expect see that things will happen mm -hmm. no you have to be with your patient and them to rely and trust you and go with you on this journey yes. because it's a, in many cases, it's a lifelong journey. Yes, we've got uh, five endocrinologists at King's. Uh, all of them are uh, capable and able to and have expertise. All of our endocrinologists are UK trained uh, and have been consultants in uh, UK before they came here. So we've got but this drug is new to them also because it's yes, it's it's a new drug. Yes. It's a new drug for everyone, including myself. Uh, but we have had experience with, like you mentioned, Ozempic and uh, Victoza. So this is just a, 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 a better drug with more effective, and it improves the diabetic uh, control also. So you're not actually being a guinea pig. There no. is some research that has been done. Oh, on oh this. yeah, no, there's been huge studies on it. Otherwise, you wouldn't get the FDA approval right. for right. it. One last question, briefly, because I know you have to go. Can this be used solely for weight loss, as in non-diabetics? Yes, uh, a very, very valid question. Uh, just going back to the previous drugs, Sex and uh, Victoza, Ozempic, uh, all of these drugs were initially licensed for type 2 and then given the license for weight loss after a certain period. The same is happening with this drug. It's at the moment licensed to use for type 2 patients with obesity or, or and, and we expect that in a year this will also be licensed for weight loss without having diabetes. However, having said that, in expert hands, an uh, endocrinologist, uh, we do use these for non-diabetic patients what we call off-license or off-label. So we know that these patients are diabetic, but they need to lose weight for their benefits. So yes. weigh the risks, and we use it uh, for non-diabetics also. Uh, with, with, with wonderful results, uh, I must say wonderful results, and, and uh, very happy patients. I bet, yeah. I bet because it's the easy option, really. It is. It, it is. It's changing your habits. Or yeah. helping you change your habits. Yes, yes. With a lot of health benefits. Incredible. Great. Good news all round.
Thank yes, you so much. Yes, that's why we're so excited about it. Brilliant. We should all be jumping up and down. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thanks for inviting me. Good Thank to see you, you again. Thank you.